Hi, I'm Stephen Han from Archery Supplies. I'm here to do a review on the Martin Lithium, which is that bow. Um, the Martin Lithium is a bow, it's 33 inches, axle to axle. Um, I think it's got about 7 inch brace height. In fact, it does have 7 inch brace height. Shoots at 335 feet per second IBO, which means if you're shooting a standard arrow, you're going to shoot about 285 feet per second at about 60 pounds. My draw length is 28 and a half. Um, the lithium, as a bow, is a good bow. Martin's a great company. I just want to talk through points with this bow. It's got quad limbs, so each limb's independent. Basically, the idea of a split limb, of split limbs, is basically with a solid limb bow, you've got the, if the, if the axles here, the wheels are tilting, like so, you've got a chance of cracking the limbs down the centre. Um, so basically, Many years ago they went to split limbs, that's what this has, pretty bulletproof. Um, the lithium's got a bridge riser here, that's for increased strength. Um, it's a fully one pieced machine riser. When they make risers, they do cast riser which is poured into a mole. That's the weakest type of riser, it's subject to, it can have flaws in the design um, and weaknesses. Machine is the most expensive, and that's what this is. Machining this riser is a lot more work than a normal riser because of the bridge here, because you need a total piece of steel that big, and then you need to machine it out. So there's lots of waste when they make it. Now this bow is equivalent in speed, in specs to a Hoyt Spider. The Hoyt Spider sells for about $1,200. It's the same speed as a Hoyt Spider. It's got a bridge riser like a Spider. Um, it's got some advantages over the Hoyt Spider. The Hoyt Spider has got a cable stop, so when it hits the cables, it can flex. Um, the Martin Lithium's got a draw stop just there. This draw stop hits just there. As you draw it back, it hits the limb, so you it, it hits a wall. As you draw it back, that stop will hit the limb and you can't draw it back anymore so it's the most solid draw stop you can have. Um, the bow's adjustable in draw length from 26 to 31 inches through rotating modules. A lot of the Hoyts you need to um, replace the modules. This bow is about half the price of the Hoyt. Um, there's no reason why it's half the price. Um, we've got them on special so that's probably why we're half price of the Hoyt. But to me it's a pretty equivalent bow. The grip's nice and comfortable. Um, it's a nice bow to shoot. Now the cams on this bow are the same as the Martin Nemesis and the Martin Alien. They use the same cams, same limbs. The only difference is the riser. Um, so when you look at this riser compared to the Nemesis, which is the more expensive model, it's very, very similar. In fact, I was doing a review and I got, got them mixed up. Uh, the, the Nemesis has a little hook here and the Lithium doesn't, as one of my viewers uh, told me, so I'm redoing the review. Um, but we'll just have a quick shot, see what you think. I like it, it's a nice little bow to shoot, it weighs about four pounds, shoots nice, looks good. Um, they come in colours, white and red, you would have seen my white and red Nemesis. We'll just have a shot, so you can see how it feels. I've got set up here with a basic whisker biscuit. D loop, peep sight, five pin hunting sight, little rubber stabilizer. The little rubber stabilizer is doing nothing at all. It's not balancing the bow, it's not absorbing much shock or noise. It's just there for looks. Okay, now the draw cycle on the Martin is very smooth. It's about, to me, it's probably about five pounds lighter. Feels five pounds lighter than most bows, so we'll just draw this one back. So it's smooth, smooth, smooth. I'm peaking about now, and I'm about to get into the valley, just there. It's easier now if my draw stops hitting. The bow resists talking, it doesn't want to talk in my hand. It's not moving in my hand. There's a slight, there's a slight bit of, the bow slightly bounces back in my hand when I shoot, so a stabiliser, and I really wouldn't cluster this as a stabiliser. A stabiliser with some weight will rectify that, so that will fix that problem. 
It's not as top heavy as the Nemesis because the Nemesis is more of a 3D bow. This is more of a hunting bow. Although you could use it for 3D target hunting without any problem at all. 33 inches axle axles, easy to shoot. Um, but primarily this bow was designed for hunting. It's a hunting bow which is easy to shoot. Really there's no thing, nice little cable slide. It's a very simple bow. You're not likely to have a problem with this bow ever. You know, in 10 years time they'll still be shooting the bow. Parallel limbs, um, not as parallel as some. There's not a lot of tension on these limbs as you'll see, which just means you should never have any problems with these limbs. Um, it means there's not as much tension on the strings and cables. So you won't wear out the strings and cables as much, but there'll be a little bit more vibration and noise in the shot than bows with more compression on the limbs. But I think it's nice to shoot. I'd be happy to own one. Um, and like I said, it's not a bad, at, the, at its price point, I don't think there's a lot of competition. At $600 for this bow, you know, the Hoyt, which looks similar, it's just not the same bow, it's a cast bow, it's, it's about 600 it doesn't have draw stops, it doesn't have this advanced cable system, it shoots at 300 feet per second, not 335 feet per second. The only bow that is comparable is the Hoyt Spider, which is about 1100 off memory, because it shoots the same speed, it's got the bridge riser, but it doesn't have the draw stop down the bottom here, so I think it's actually better than the Hoyt Spider. The finish is not as good as the Hoyt Spider, but it's not bad, like, there's no deflex, there's nothing in the, when they lay, lay the um, film on, there's no defects at all on the film. To me it's just, it just doesn't, doesn't feel as, like it's, the Hoyt do a lot of do a lot to make their bow look like it's a million dollar bow. Um, this bow, it's perfectly functional. It's a great bow, roll bearings in the cams. It's got everything you want in the top of the line bow. But it doesn't look like a million dollar bow. I think it looks great, but you know. Um, nice bow, check it out. Martin Lithium, archery shop, about $600, $700 you'll be paying. Great bow for a price, lasts you forever. Thank you.